Hi, my name is Abby and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today's gospel is taken from Mark chapter 9 verses 30 to 37. And Jesus asks his disciples what they were talking about over there. And they were a bit shy because they were arguing amongst themselves about who is the greatest. And for us in this day and age, there are so many ways to measure greatness. What young people now call the GOAT is the greatest of all time. And the GOAT is someone who breaks so many records again and again and again. Maybe greatness for us is measured in how many promotions we get, how many Latin honors we graduated with, how many letters we have at the end of our name, PhD, uh, MA, and stuff like that. Maybe greatness is measured in how many properties and cars you have. Or maybe for you, greatness is measured in the people you know and how many friends you have. Sometimes I wonder what the disciples were arguing about over there. Like, what was their measure of greatness? Maybe it was how many people they were able to heal. Maybe it was how much scripture they actually have memorized. Maybe it's how long their prayer time is. And maybe that's familiar to us right now. But Jesus breaks all those measures. And he says, if any of you wants to be the first, you should be the last. And the last is someone that Paul describes in his letter to the Philippians. He describes Christ Jesus as though he is in the form of God, did not grasp equality with God, something that he deserves, something that is right for him. He is the Son of God. Instead, he lowers himself and makes himself into human form just like us. And he suffers not just any suffering, but great suffering, even to a gruesome and horrible death on the cross. That's why he's the greatest. He has put himself very low and the last, and so therefore has put everyone before him, everyone's concerns, even everyone's worries before him. And Jesus, that's not the end of that sentence. Jesus says, if anyone wants to be the first, they shall be the last. And the servant of all. A servant is someone who is obliged to help people without anything in exchange, not even a thank you. And that's what Jesus made himself to be, lowered himself so that he becomes the, the one who washes his own disciples' feet. And for us, maybe in our context, a servant is someone who is going to help people and put everyone else's needs before our own without expecting any thank you, without ex ex expecting any acknowledgement. The servant is someone who doesn't just serve, so Jesus says here, the last and the servant of all, not just of some, not just to those who are important to us, not just the servant of those whom we love, not just the servant of those who can help us, and not just the servant of those who are believers. So Christ here, he says, whoever wants to be first must be the last and the servant of all. Whoever welcomes one such child in my name, he brings a child in the midst of them. And he says, the servant is someone who welcomes this child. And a child is someone who can't really decide for his society. A child is someone who is vulnerable and has to be protected. A child is someone who is dependent on everyone around him to take care of the kid. And so Jesus tells his disciples, the greatest is the last of all, the servant of all, welcomes a child in my name, and so therefore welcomes me. And Jesus is not just talking about children only. He's talking about those who are marginalized, those who need everyone's help to take care of them because they aren't able to take care of themselves. The child could probably be people who don't have a voice in our society, those who are marginalized and cast out. 
And Jesus is asking his disciples to see him in all those people. Those are the people that we must serve. And so, maybe Jesus is inviting you today to reflect on how you measure greatness. Maybe Jesus is asking you to reflect on who are the children in your life? Who are the people I must serve? So that we may become like him in all things. So that we might, just for a moment, or even try, to reflect a glimpse of the greatness of the servant of all, Jesus Christ. So, if you like this short reflection, uh, please like and share it with a friend or family or a loved one. Again, my name is Abby. I hope you have a great Sunday. Thanks for listening. Peace be with you and God bless.